Joe here and welcome back to my video. It's currently 1 o'clock in the morning so don't get mad if I'm a little quiet. In this video I'm going to be telling you all of the books I read in 2018. At the end of the year my goal was 45 books and I have completed that right in the dot and I've read a total of 45 books. So instead of trying to like figure out like what books I read in a row I'm just gonna say like books I read in a row say I read one book of a series like January I just finished another book in the series I'm just gonna group them together so it makes things a lot easier so before I continue on with this video I'm actually gonna clear off everything on my bookshelves like my candles and like my raven figurine because when I, I'm gonna be grabbing a lot of books candles are coming off my little book owl that I don't know there's just a present for Christmas two years ago I'm like I'm gonna put this on my bookshelf. And then lastly, I'm taking off my home run ball from softball. So yeah. Since there's a lot of books, I'm just going to go get right into the video. The first two books I have are Glass Sword and King's Cage by Victoria Aviard. I have yet to rate this one because this is the last one I read this year. And I think I gave this one a four out of five stars. I don't know. Uh, I really like this one kind of like this one. This is right now my least favorite out of the three I've read and next year I'm going to start off with uh, Warstorm. I think that's what it's called. Yes, Warstorm. I'm going to get this series done. I'm excited for it. So these are some books I read. The next books I read are Dark Triumph and More to Heart by Robin Lefevers. I do not have the physical copy of these books. Sorry for the waving. My cat is walking on my bed. Percy. The first book I read of the series I read back in 2017 and prior to that because I had reread the book three times like in earlier years before I like really got into reading it was kind of just like an eh thing but yeah. So I'm actually already pre-ordered the fourth book technically the first book to a new like chapter of the story that contains main character of the second book and I'm super excited for it because I really love this series. The next books I read were The Divergent Trilogy by Veronica Roth and it was a very big emotional roller coaster. I actually loved all the books and they were better than I thought they were going to be and I call that a success in my part because in my last video, or not my last video, like one of the videos I made about popular books I haven't read, these were in there now I have them read. You guys are all welcome. The next book I read was Tidal by Amanda Hawking. And this is the third book to The Wake, like Quartet. It used to be a trilogy, but she added a fourth book, which I still have yet to actually get and read. And I am absolutely in love with this book series so far. I read all these books super fast and I just adored them. The characters are great. Their romance is strange. It's a little strange. And it was kind of strange for me to read this book because I read the first two books like way ahead of this one so I kind of forgot like the love interest and like just some of the strong points but a lot of the characters in this book were actually like super good and I do appreciate like some of the friendship things that she put into here and so I definitely really like this one. The next book I read was Of Neptune by Anna Banks and just like the last one it was super weird to read this because I read the first book the first two books my I think freshman year, freshman year, or last year, and it was just super weird because I couldn't remember anything and I didn't really feel the same connection with the romance as I did in the first two books because I went from the first book to second book and then I went to reading a bunch of other books and it was just really different, but it was still a really good book and I think you guys should definitely read it. The next two books I read were one Dark Throne and Two Dark Reigns, both by Kendra Blake, and these are the second and third book in the, I think, Three Dark Crowns trilogy, and I absolutely adored it, and I'm super glad to find out after this book there will be a fourth one, which I'm super happy about, because literally, such a great series, you guys definitely need to pick this up. I'm happy I took a chance on it, and I definitely don't regret it, and I think you guys definitely need to read this, because the character like development is very well written out and I love it and in the first book there's a character I really didn't like and by the third book 
I think she might have been my favorite, but it's hard to tell because I love all of the sisters. I can't really see my shirt right now, but Cedric got it for me for Christmas and it's just one more chapter. It's great. Um, I thought it was going to be the video, but then I did like a different situation with my camera so you can't see it, but I'm still working out camera stuff, so we'll get there. See, the lighting isn't that bad back here because it's kind of like evened out. Yeah. Can you guys even like see my twinkle lights? No, you can't. But they're on, so appreciate it. The next two books I read were Carval and Legendary, both by Stephanie Garber. And oh my god, I think these are probably one of my favorite books I read this year. They absolutely affected me, and I've actually tweeted at the author saying that this story has affected me so much the fact that I actually had a dream about it and that I was like in the games and it was just it was super cool. The next two books I read were Lifeblood and Everlife by Gina Showalter and these are the second and third book to I think it's oh man I don't even remember First Life it's called First Life and so I read that book I think my eighth grade year and then I finally picked up the second and third book absolutely adored it loved the characters loved the whole scheme this book was a little weird not gonna lie but i think it was a super good ending and it was amazing and you guys definitely need to read this gina showwathler is definitely one of my favorite authors she has actually like written a lot of books that i like like this series and then the zombie in wonderland series which i adored which is actually coming up next because i finally finished the last two books of it last January so I guess I'll just go on to those. Next two books I read were A Queen of Zombie Hearts and A Mad Zombie Tea Party both by Gina Showalter and the last two books of The Courtlet of I think it's just The White Rabbit Chronicles by Gina Showalter. These are the best books ever. These are the books that got me into reading. I promise you the first book to the series is probably the best book I've ever read and it was the first book that I actually bought and wanted to make me start reading more. So I actually have Gina Showalter to thanks so I should probably do that but I'm not gonna. But yeah, thank you Gina Showalter. The next book I read was A Court of Frost and Starlight and it was the like 3.5 book and the Akatar series kind of just like a little something to give us before she releases the next I think it's three books in the series excited for those really happy and I'm definitely not the only one so just saying Sarah you need to get this out a little bit faster but I would just like to say I really like this book a lot of people had different opinions about it and I really liked it it kind of like took me a while to get into even though I read it in one night it was still a decent book and I enjoyed the little romantic pieces in it and it was very good. So pretty much it was a Christmas book, which I'm totally okay with, but that it was a Christmas book for the fairies in that universe. They don't call it Christmas, I forgot what they called it, but it was actually a really decent book. Go read it. The next two books are Cress and Winter by both by Marissa Meyer and I absolutely loved these books. I read I think Cress really fast you know it was super super long like winter because I read this in the summer and I had just got done reading this a couple weeks ago I think it was in my November wrap up it was a very good book and you guys definitely need to read the series. I didn't like the first two books as much as I liked these ones. And they were amazing, so you definitely need to get on that. The next book I read was Stalking Jack the River by, I think, Carrie Ma Mansikalko? I'm not sure. It's a very long last name. I absolutely have no idea how to pronounce, but we're just going to go with it. Absolutely amazing. You guys need to read this. I have the second book. I haven't read it yet. I need to get to it because the, she just finished the fourth one, and it's not out for sale yet because the third book is still on pre-order, which I ordered, I'm just waiting for it, I'm just like, mm -hmm. I mean, it's out, but I want it in paperback, because I have the first two in paperback, so I don't want to have the first two in paperback, and then have the third one in hardcover, that's just not how I roll, so, this was very good, the main character I really loved, and I actually, one of my candles, hold on, well, actually, I bought one of, one of my candles, is named after her, Audrey Rose, that's the main character in this book, and I think that 
she was one of the best characters ever so she's a great like female role model and you guys really need to get on to reading this right now the next books I read was, it's a series called The Grisha Burst, and I'll have the books here because they were actually my teacher's books. I do not physically have them. So, book one, book two, book three, a little snippet of the, like, little story that came with it, which apparently that counted as a book, so, okay, whatever you say. So, The Grisha Burst was made by Lee Barduco, and if you don't know who that is, she also made the Six of Crow, Six of Crows, Crows, Crow, Crows duology? And actually, I was gonna say that next, but I'll guess I'll grab these as well. These are really cool. So, I'll have these books right here, and then her other books right here. So, pretty much, I read everything that Lee Wardugo has read. She is absolutely amazing. Her world art, her worlds are the best I think I've ever read. It took me a while to get into this one. This one was just super good. I mean, this one was super good too. But this one was really great. This book was super good. This book was super good. This book was super -ish good. It was a great ending. But there are some things I wish that like would have changed. But it's kind of an eh kind of thing. But Lee Bardugo just came out with a fourth book of the series, surprisingly. And it's a new point of view from someone in the previous series that I'm super excited about and the book is like all gold so I'm super excited to read that if I get it I don't know yet I'm still trying to decide if I want it or not I probably will though because Lee Bardugo is a great author and writer and I need to have all of her books the next book is Miss Parent Gets Home for Peculiar Children I've had this for about three years and finally got to it around summertime and I thought it was a super good book I don't know if I'm gonna continue on with the series I mean it was decent. I've seen the movie. I've read the book. I liked it. I don't know if I liked it enough to continue it. We're gonna see on that. But I think I give this reading, or this book, a rating of 4 out of 5 maybe? I don't know. It was a super good book. I really appreciated the new characters. And so, it was a little confusing because in the movie, I watched the movie first. In the movie, Olivia and I think, um, or it's Olive and Emma have actually switched abilities from what they were in the book and it was kind of confusing for me when I went into it because I was like okay hold up this ain't right but obviously this is going to be right not the movie because this came out first but I still appreciated both of them and they were both amazing. It's currently 1.43. It has taken me a half an hour to get this far in the video and I'm not even done. The next book I have is Dark Breaks the Dawn by Sarah B. Larson. It is a retelling of Swan Lake and it definitely was something new for me. I actually haven't heard anyone else talk about it. It was kind of just something I pick up and picked up in the store and I really liked it. It was interesting. I actually loved it and it started off pretty like slow for me but then I really got into it. I think I read this in like a day. It's a very small book and I am still yet to get the second book. I'm excited to do it but we're just going to see how it goes. The next two books are Daughter of the Pirate King and Daughter of the Siren Queen, both by Trisha Levenseller. And I am super excited to say that these were next to my favorite books I've read next to, I think, Carval and these books were definitely a tie up. And I think they're so encouraging and just something I was really looking forward to and I definitely got everything out of it. I rated both of these books 5 out of 5. Um, I really wish there could have been more and this book series actually opened me up to a lot of like possibilities that I actually like pirates a lot more and I realized that when I got a game called Sea of Thieves and I'm like I actually like pirates a lot more than I thought I did and I think that's really because I really love these books and it's super good the fact that this impacted me so much and I don't know. I just really wish she would have made more books. Because, girl, these were amazing. I think you should keep writing about Alosa because she is the best. I love her. I love her, love her story. So, just keep it going. Trisha, keep it going. Oh, did you see how slick that was? No, because you're really high. The next books I read were The Splintered Quartet by H.E. Howard. Super excited I finally got to this. I had to rebuy the first book because I lost it at my grandmother's house like three years ago and 
I guess no one ever found it, so I had to rebuy it, and I absolutely loved it. I went from one book to another, and it took me about two months to like finish reading them, and it kind of sucked at the same time, because literally these took like two weeks, and then this one book, this one red book, took me like literally a month, and then this one took me like three days. So literally the only thing that was holding me back was this red book. It's not that I didn't love it. Is that I think I was just getting so tired of reading the story. Like, I love the story, but like, it filled me up so much that I just wanted to break from it and from reading. So, like, technically, this put me in a reading slump. But I got back on track because obviously I finished my goal. But these were super good. You guys definitely need to read them, especially if you like Alice in Wonderland. This is definitely a darker tale that I adore. I love darker versions of like stories or like I just love dark books and this is definitely a series that you guys all need to read. The next book I read was War of Cards by Colleen Oaks and this was an absolutely amazing book. I thought this was an amazing ending to this series and Dinah is still by far my favorite character and this story was so shocking I had no idea what was happening and it was amazing and I'm not going to say much about it because I don't really remember too much. I do, but don't. And just like a lot of the secrets that were unfolded in this book were absolutely amazing. You guys definitely need to read it. The next books I read were on my Amazon Kindle on my phone. It was Bound, I think Possessed and Punished. I don't know which way it, it order it goes in. But these are probably the best like ebooks I've ever read. I actually started reading it Bound in middle school. I loved it and I finally bought it and I still going I'm finally on the fourth book and I think there's like eight in the series and I'm totally fine with that because it's such a good series. It's about this girl that like lives in New Orleans and she found out that she is a voodoo queen and she doesn't know how to feel about it. I'm not going to tell you much about the story but these books these books are amazing. You can only get them in Kindle. They're super cheap and you really you really need to get them because they're absolutely amazing. Okay so it turns out my camera didn't die it just ran out of space so it may look like I wasn't prepared which I wasn't and my like area might be a little different because I might have set it up differently but it's okay because we're gonna continue on with the video so the next book I read was a book I read in school called The Crucible by Arthur, Arthur Miller and I had actually really enjoyed the book and I actually restarted it but I didn't finish it and it was actually a pretty good book whether or not it was like a school book to read and I felt like I was probably the only one who understood what was going on because I obviously I read a lot and I can interpret books a lot easier than a lot of people that don't read so I don't know it was just a book I really enjoyed and it kind of took forever to read in class so I kind of just did it myself so I was kind of like rereading what I had already read so technically I read it twice the next books I read were The Bone Witch and The Heart Forger, both by Rin Chupeco. You guys definitely need to read these books because these are also on the list right next to Carball and I think The Daughter of the Pirate King. I know the book, it just it comes out really like weird when I say it, so I have to say it slow sometimes. So these are like right lined up with all of them. You guys definitely need to read them. I'm super excited for the third book. I definitely already pre-ordered it. And it just needs to come out a lot faster because I read these books too fast and I don't want to reread them because I just, I can't, because then I just won't be surprised anymore. Like, I don't like rereading books because, like, I don't get surprised. Like, I love them the first time. I know I'm going to love them again, but it's just going to be different and I don't know if I, if I want to change it. So, The Bone Witch Duology, go and read it. They're super good. I actually have a book review that I'm editing right now that I'm going to release after um, the first, so it's not like, oh, <laughs> let's do uh, what I read in 2018. Oh look, a book review. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not going to do that. So <laughs> as it seems that this was a child picture book that I found in the middle of work, it was called The Happy Lion, and I don't quite remember what the author was. I could check real quick. The author was called, er, the author is, the author's name like Louis like Fatio or something like that. It's French. I don't know how to say it, but it was a super good book. 
even though it was a children's book it was very inspiring I thought it was super cute and I, you guys definitely if you have kids you should read it and if you like picture books you should read it and even if you want to have like a little fun with reading go ahead and read it it's actually a really good decent book I mean I don't think they'd be able to turn it into a YA book or even an adult book but I mean, they could give it a try, but it's not going to happen. I think it should stay as a picture book because it was cute and adorable just like that. The last one of the year that I'm going to mention is Raven. It's a comic book that my mom had got me last Christmas, and I read it, and it counts as a book because you read and you read pictures. Now, obviously, I haven't opened it in a while. That's why it's making those crease noises, so ignore that. Oh, that's why. Just kidding. Just kidding. But it was super good, and I've been meaning to buy the other ones because this is just the first one of the series, and I absolutely love it because obviously Raven is my favorite character of the Teen Titans, and I've been obsessed with her since I was little. She's inspired me a lot, and obviously why everything is Raven Row, Raven Row, kind of just combined them. That was my mom's doing, not mine, but I highly appreciate that she did that for me, and yeah. If you really like comic books, you should really pick this up. And even if you don't like comic books, still pick it up because it's still a really good read. Those are all the books I've read in 2018. I might have missed a few, but I know for a fact that I read 45 books. And because I got them all down on Goodreads and it says I have 45 books. So you know what? I have 45 books read and done. Thank you. Next. Thanks so much for watching this video. I will see you in... 2019 and I will be coming out with a new video soon about what books I'm going to be reading in January and I have other videos planned out and guess what I'm going to start writing again and I know I said I was going to stop writing I've been writing about here and there but I am finally going to get on track for 2019 with my book I want it done like at least my first draft I sh should be like halfway there but I'm not I'm not even halfway there with my first draft. I really need to get on it. And I feel like videos really like help me stay on schedule because I've had some people come up to me from my school and say, you are really bad on track with your writing. Yes, Harley Marie, I know. So you hush and maybe you should come over. And you know what? Maybe you should come over and help me write and do stuff. That's your own fault. Help me stay on track. I'm pointing at you you gotta help me from now on. so yeah anyway comment down below what books or if any books you read in 2018 if like if you liked them didn't like them like this video and subscribe and I'll see you in 2019 bye guys <laughs>